Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm so hungry and I am famished and thirsty. It's quite a tragedy really. Oh, I'm so hungry. I think I need to get some food first. I'm gonna go eat and I'll be back. children thanks for staying with me i have just had my breakfast i had an apple and avocado and this spring roll so that's my healthy balanced diet breakfast right there so as you can tell by the title today today's quite serious deep i don't know whatever adjective you want to use to describe it but yeah i'm going to be sharing with people my failures which is a bit scary and um mad <laughs> But anyways, that's what's about to go down, go down, go down. Okay, let me get into it. I want to make sure that I touch on all the things that I wanted to touch on so that it's actually useful and not just information, if that makes sense. I'm at the University of Bristol studying economics. I'm supposed to be in my third year, but I'm not. So last year, I was in my second year. In the first term, I didn't sit my exams, and that was due to like many reasons. I started to lose passion for my course. I was dealing with anxiety, amongst other stuff, and I just felt lost. <laughs> I sat my exams in the summer, but I didn't do well. Um, I failed. <laughs> I had like two weeks really to learn all of that and so that didn't work out well i've never failed in my entire life failure especially academic failure was something i'm so not used to and i'm not saying this to like brag and be boasting and be like i'm so smart all glory to god but through secondary school and sixth form and primary school whatever kind of schools you do before uni i was always overachieving and i kind of just coasted through it i didn't work hard to be there so having to come face to face with failure and academic failure which i guess was where my identity lied for a really long time like how smart i was my grades um how i did in comparison to others that was like the bulk of my identity for a really long time and coming face to face to failure and being like okay maybe you're not as smart as you think you are or maybe putting in like average work is not gonna produce excellent like results so that was tough and i know god wanted to teach me that like my life as much as i feel like i'm old and wise and i've been through life my life is still so tiny like i'm still so young and everything that i've experienced is leading up to something more something greater and i know that i had to experience failure here and i know that might sound strange to people but when i came to the realization of how things were going to go down i was so open-armed to it i knew that god wanted to open my eyes to the pride that was in my heart god wanted to teach me how to respond to failure which is a part of life and i guess i don't want to post my highlight reels which is what you often do on social media on my instagram and on my youtube for instance i post when i travel and i post when interesting stuff is happening in my life i don't post you know the real part and this is part of it failure i've i've wanted to do this video for so long and i've been holding it back i was like wait till you get your testimony wait till you graduate or wait till you're in third year but i want to post it now and i want to normalize failure and learning periods and not just successes because this is part of people's lives and i guess people posting more about it or talking more about the reality of life means that other people can know how to deal with those situations when they're in those situations because it's part of life so that's why i felt led to share so currently i have a massive failure under my belt i failed second year last year i didn't fail it this year so i've done my exams i've passed them all i'm gonna be going on to third year in september which is really exciting i'm so like now that i look back on it god had such an amazing plan for it i knew i wasn't ready to graduate i don't fully know quite know the picture of what god wants me to do god has put a lot on my heart i need to lean on his wisdom and his understanding to be able to achieve all the things that he has planned for me i definitely was not ready to graduate and i've been able to have so many amazing experiences and so many opportunities as a result of me redoing the year it's weird i would never have thought i would be in this position and i would never have thought i would be happy to be in this position also like just the idea of 
you go into a good Russell Group Uni, you're doing a good academic degree, you are doing quite well, your grades are high, and there's more to life. Like, I love education, I love university, I love economics, I love everything that I've been able to achieve through university, and I recommend university to every single person, even if you don't know what you want to do. It's, you learn so much more than your course, which is just such a valuable experience that you're not going to necessarily get in other, like, settings outside of sixth form. There was, there's this book I'm reading at the moment, actually, and I'm just going to read what is said. Okay, so it turns out I can't actually find it, but it was something along the lines of everything we do at the end of the day is to glorify God. What matters is what we did for Christ. Something along those lines, but the message, the, 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 the reason why I've said that is at the end of the day, your degree only means so much. At the end of the day, the university you went to only means so much. And all these human accolades that we're trying to get um, they only mean so much. At the end of the day is what have we done for the kingdom? What have we done for Jesus? Is our heart right with Jesus and things like that? But anyways, I hope this video was useful. I want to document my journey. That's the whole reason why I've started this YouTube channel. I want to document my journey through life and this is part of it. And I'm really excited to film my graduation and to film the next seasons of my life. But this is a part of it. And I'm happy and okay with that because this opens me up to be able to relate to people who I guess I would not have been able to relate to. This has opened my eyes up to the pride that's in my heart. And I've learned so many valuable lessons in this season. And I guess shame and regret and guilt or worry or whatever, like associated emotions or feelings that come with failure, God doesn't want that for us. I did feel like a bit of shame, like what would people think? How would people react? I am supposed to have this sort of image or whatever it is, like I'm supposed to do well. But do you know what? <laughs> Who cares? I'll make sure I live my life to please God and not to please man. It's easy to get it twisted, but that's really who that matters. And if you failed in anything, all that it is is a bigger testimony. It wasn't smooth, it wasn't easy, and that's hard, and that's difficult, and that's great. There's power in that, there's fruit in that, there is being able to reach people through that and talk to people and encourage people through failure, but also being able to grow. Because if everything was just like that, like, that's boring. There's not a lot of room for growth. If my economics teacher is watching this, whom I really love, Mr. Fitzgerald, <laughs> I'm sorry. I do love economics and I will graduate and I will, you know, finish this degree and hopefully make all your effort worthwhile because he made me fall in love with economics and Madam Sparks. Anyways, I'm going to stop rambling. This is where I'm at at the moment. I don't really have anything to say except for the fact that I'm happy, I'm grateful for the ups and the downs, for the failures and the successes, all the opportunities God has given me. Like, if I sat here and made myself appear sad or unfulfilled that would be a lie because i'm so grateful to god he's done so much for me i'm so thankful for the failure as weird as that sounds i appreciate being at university and being able to do a degree a lot more now i was able to work in an investment firm during my time off uni because i was at I did the first term, but I didn't need to do the second term this year. So since like mid-January, I've been free. It's kind of taught me what I want to do and what I don't want to do in future. I've been able to get an internship with the civil service this summer as well. I now appreciate the value of time, of having time to stop and think and reassess your life and you know, know what's happening and know, have an idea where you're going or pray about where you're going or consider that you don't know where you're going. I know this is a bit weird over a camera, but I just feel led to pray. And Lord, I just thank you for this opportunity that you've given me to be able to talk to people on this channel, on this platform. I thank you for all those that are listening to my channel. I thank you especially for those who are subscribed. <laughs> um, and if you're unsubscribed, Lord, put it on their heart to subscribe. But Lord, apart from that, I just wanna Pray that for all those that are going through failures or down points in their lives right now and don't know how it's going or where it's going or don't feel maybe very optimistic or hopeful about their future. 
Father Lord, I just pray you will minister Jeremiah 29 11 into their heart, O oh God, that you have a plan for them, a plan of good and not of evil, to bring them to an expected end with a bright future, filled with hope. I pray, Lord, you fill their hearts with hope. You will just show us that we should lean not on our own understanding, but lean on you. And I just thank you, Lord. I pray they come back to my channel, you know, regularly, subscribe, become active subscribers, and Teach us all to love each other. I love you guys. Subscribe to join my journey through life, faith, and fun. And I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Thank you guys.